Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. My name is Vanessa and I teach entrepreneurs how to start their own hair care line or skincare line or beauty brand. And today we're gonna be talking about how to price your guys' own hair care products or beauty products. This really can go for any product. But I'm gonna be talking to you guys and teaching you how you guys can start to price your hair care products. Just know that when I'm talking to you guys about how to price it, this is going to be kind of at its max, right? So you really have to think about your brand back if you watched my very first video like a year ago um, You know about how to start your own hair care line. I talked to you about you know thinking about what type of brand you're trying to portray Are you an affordable brand where your products are five dollars each? Um, down to the deep conditioners or are you a luxury brand where it can cost up to thirty five dollars for a deep conditioner? So you have to decide one what type of brand you are and what your market is um, and where you're gonna sell your products so then you have a base range but I'm gonna talk to you so you guys know what you can be pricing your products at at a fair price so if you guys like this video make sure you share it like and comment down below where you're from and your website link so I can go check out and support but I hope that you guys like this video if you do like subscribe find me on all my social medias and my new channel and yeah let's just get right into this video so first off, if you've already decided you're going to be a somewhat in the middle brand, you're not going to sell your products for $5 a pop, but you're not going to be all the way up there to 30, 45, but you're just trying to find that middle range. I'm going to tell you what to do. So the very first thing you want to do is do some market research. So one, what I did is I started looking online at other products. So if you guys don't know my story, my very first product was my hair growth oil. So my hair oil was my very first product that I created for royalty curls. But what I did is I actually started Googling other hair oils on the market. So from all the top brands I knew. So this is like the main choice. Um, Shea Moisture, Cantu, like As I Am, you know, all of those big brands that was, you know, back in the day. Now there's a million of them. But I started researching hair growth oils, what the ingredients were in them to figure out what I needed for mine, but also what they were pricing their hair growth oils at compared to the ingredients that they were using. So, and it's really hard because every brand can be, you know, at a 10 dollar per oil all the way up to 25 38 dollars so you it's really hard to differentiate about how much you should be pricing your products so what i did and what most people do is you got to break it down okay and i'm gonna break it down for you so I have some notes just so we don't get lost but i'm gonna break it down for you so that you can understand how much you can charge for your one product okay let's try to do this follow along with me if you need get a paper and paper and pen and let's get into this so the very first thing that you need to do to figure out how much you can sell your product for is figure out one, how much, how much money it took you to create one product. So what you got to do is know first off how much for the ingredients. Okay. So just making it easy. Say you use five different oils to make your hair growth oil. So you need to know the price of every single oil, write down every single oil or every single ingredient that is in that product, write it down. How much did it cost for that size? Now, how much per each size do you get out of that oil? So say, so say if, for example, breaking it down for you, my hair growth oil, I have a 16.9 ounce and then I have a five pound gallon. So if I use both of these oils, I need to know how many of those eight, six ounce hair growth oils was I able to make with this? Maybe it was only three. So you're gonna write, Say it costs $20, you're gonna divide 20 divided by three, and that's gonna be the price for that one. Say with this gallon, you're able to make the 10 that you were trying to make, and then you have all of this left over. So, I mean, you can do a little bit of math and figure out the, the size of this. It takes you about five to make and divide to figure out the total you can make out of this one. And you're gonna divide that by the 10 that you made, and you're gonna write that price down. You following? You have the price it took you to make one of these hair growth oils with your ingredients you know how many hair growth oils you can get out of this which was the three and you know you can get about 10 minimum out of that five gallon with extra left over to do another 10. so you know you can at least get two out of that one right so you're gonna write down those two numbers and add it together that's how much it costs for the ingredients so write that number down okay you following with me you got to know how much it costs 
to make the ingredients and you got to know for each ingredient how much you're able to get it out get out of each ingredient and it might be hard when you start getting into powders and active ingredients and all this other stuff but get an average get an average okay <laughs> So from there, once you figure out how much it costs for the ingredients, you need to know how much it costs to package it down to the label and down to the packaging. So how much did it cost for me? I get a hundred bottles at like 10 cents each. So that's going to be the price of the bottle. How much does it cost per label? Write that down, add that number up and add it all together. So how much did it cost for the ingredients? How much did it cost for the bottle and the label? Add that together and that's how much it costs to make one product okay did you guys follow me now what you need to do not only do you have to know how much it costs to make each product which I can tell you it probably is gonna cost you around five to seven dollars probably no more than ten dollars to make one unit to make one product which is why I actually, I actually got in to making my own hair hair care line because I was I had a subscription box business where I was buying products at twenty dollars wholesale and I figured out I can make my own hair growth oil at five dollars versus buying it wholesale for twenty so just giving you that little tip so say it costs you five dollars to make one of these bottles out of all your ingredients and all the math that we did now you need to figure out how much does it cost to ship that product to your customer so you need to know all the way down to the mailers say you buy a pack of 25 cost you $15 divide the 25 divided by 15 write that number down you use these little stickers you bought them off Amazon how much did it cost how many fragile stickers do you have it'll tell you on the listing on Amazon write that number down the label to place onto here most likely they paid for shipping but you can write that down too you know you don't have to but you get the point anything that you're using to ship write that number down too and add it to the price of the ingredients plus the packaging plus the shipping now from there you should have a really good base you might be around that ten dollar range or less so you know you can at least price your products we'll just say for ten dollars okay because honestly we really have to put in into account also overhead so for example, how long does it take you to make this hair growth oil? Are you gonna charge yourself? So for example, if it takes you an hour, you can do the minimum wage in your state. So like Washington would be $15. So I mean, it's kind of hard because it'd be like, okay, $15 an hour. How many of these did I make in an hour? So then you would just kind of divide and that would be another number that you can add to this. Um, your overhead can be bigger. It can include equipment that maybe you had to buy. Um, like if you're making a hair butter or a body butter and you had to buy a mixing machine, you know, how many, obviously it's unlimited unless it breaks, but you know, add that if you want, if you really want to. But the main things that you need to know is how much did it cost for the ingredients to package it and to ship it to your customer. So say it's taking us about $10 to make, package and ship our product to our customer. Now you have a decision to make. From here, what I like to teach my clients is you should be pricing your products at least two to three times the amount it costs you to make it. One, that's because you need to leave some room for you to make a profit, but not just for you to make a profit, but also because if you're deciding to one day get into wholesale, uh, reselling your products to retailers, so meaning getting your products into stores or shipping your products to uh, subscription box businesses or wholesale or whatever, you have to give discounts on your products. Most people want to buy wholesale, and I, I'm saying this from three years of running a subscription box business and buying products at wholesale, is that most people are gonna want you to purchase in a certain minimum amount of products, and they're gonna want you to buy it at least 35, 45, 50% off. So if that makes sense. So if you're gonna you know, try to ship this to Amazon, or not Amazon, to like Target, they're gonna maybe want a thousand units at 50% off. So a thousand units at 50% off is still a big chunk, but in the end, you don't wanna be cutting yourself short. So if you price yourself at three times the amount, you're here, right? So say you're here in the middle, and we're gonna use visual, and so you priced it two times the amount and you get a wholesale order and now you're selling your products at 50 percent so your profit from that is going to be a lot smaller it may look bigger because you're getting maybe a bigger check because you're getting more 
quantity, but in the end, if you were to ship each one out individually, you're losing more. So if you price it at least three times, two to three times at amount, depending if you're able to stay within your budget range of your brand, and you're able to price it at least three times, you're gonna come in the middle where you're still making a profit and having that little bit of wiggle room. You know what I mean? So I don't know if that makes sense, but for me, I price my products at least three times the amount it costs to make it. Each of my products costs at least five to eight max ten dollars to make um, and that comes down to even the label like the label costs probably a dollar the bottle is cents so literally to package it probably costs a dollar and like tw maybe a dollar twenty five so it's really not that expensive to make the products but you have to know what your brand is you have to know your audience and who you're selling to because if you're selling to an audience that likes to buy products at five to ten dollars you're gonna get, you know, you can price your products at that. If it costs you $5 and you wanna sell it for 10, it's up to you. But if you're trying to create a luxury brand, because remember your branding is what speaks. If you have a luxury brand, your products and your pricing need to be luxury, if that makes sense too. If you're just trying to make an affordable brand, Etsy brand, or like, I don't know, like a, I don't know, a hobby brand, and you're not really about that price, price it whatever you want. So I'm not here to tell you what, how much to price your products. I'm just telling you what I did and what I coach my, my clients to do is a minimum of three times the amount that it costs you to make it. And you, like if I said, for example, it costs $5 to make this oil, the minimum times three would be $15. But you know what? I'm selling this oil for $25. So I'm selling it for an extra $10 over. So I hope that that kind of clarifies and teaches you a little bit on how an idea of how much you can be pricing your products at but keeping in mind you have to do product research for other brands so i didn't realize that my camera stopped recording but i just wanted to end this video with saying make sure you do your product research for each product you're trying to make make sure your pricing aligns with your brand if you have a luxury brand you need luxury prices if you're an affordable brand you need affordable prices and then you can play from there. You can really price your products at whatever price you want. It can cost you $2 to make it and you can price it all the way up to $45. Like really, there's brands out there doing it. So the more you learn about ingredients, how to make things, you'll start to notice what is worth pricing what. For example, if you have ingredients that are more expensive and you're making a deep conditioner where you're using active ingredients, for sure, if it costs you only say $8 to make it, you should be pricing that product higher. So use your common sense. You want to make money. The more your products cost, obviously the higher order value you're going to get. So just remember that. But I hope that this video helps you guys out. If it did, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time.